and this is something that's come before the body before. Ladies and gentlemen, the Senate, I, I stand before you today to ask for a division of the uh, the um, uh, divide the motions on the on the table. We have the state budget, which obviously we are to uh, be voting on today, but we. We also have the motion of the unemployment insurance, something that's come before this body as early as April of this year. Basically, it's a federal pass to that this, uh, this body in the House and the Senate has to vote upon to extend unemployment benefits to many of North Carolinians across our state uh, who are no father owns our unemployment. Now, I'm here to tell you today, as I said earlier in the session, that people are still out there hurting. Uh, we were asked to move. dollars a month is a necessity for some folks. It helps pay that high gas bill that we all are paying for now. It helps bridge paying the mortgage or the apartment bill. It helps pay the telephone bill. It helps pay for daycare and, and child care. It helps pay for living necessity of many of our fellow citizens across North Carolina. This has nothing to do with the budget that we're voting on today. It has everything to do with benefits that people rightly can receive, no financial burden on the state. The federal government allows us to extend these benefits if we pass this legislation. Here we are in June still talking about this, that's something that came before this body in early April. People are hurting, and we're playing political games. So I ask you today to do what is right, to do what is right for those who need our help, to do what is right for those who are Republicans and Democrats who find themselves unemployed that can receive these benefits, do what is right for those who are black and white and purple and green, who are North Carolinians. Do what is right for the people of our state by pitting aside political games and moving forward with a legislation that entitles them to benefits that comes from the federal government that has nothing to do with our state budget. I rise today to say that it's time to do what is right. Every week, 21,000 citizens find themselves running out of their benefits, adding to the rolls. 21,000 folks per week since April. It is time that we not hold these individuals hostage anymore. It is time that we set them free. Discussion on the motion to divide the question. Sir, Mr. Mr. Baca, for our purpose, do you rise? Speak on.